speak about the role of local government, let me again remind those persons who feel that there's no need for local government, that 85% of the country's survival is vested in local government. 85%. We clean garbage. We fix parochial roads. We run markets. We run abattoir. We deal with building planning. We deal with hairdressers and barbers. Government has signaled its intent to spend $830.8 .8 billion in the 2021-2022 financial year. Of that amount, over $16 billion has been granted to the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development. On the recurrent or housekeeping matters, the Ministry will seek to improve the affairs of the general public services, economic affairs, environmental protection and conservation, housing and community amenities, and social security and welfare services. Rural electrification works will be supported by a $311 million allocation to the newly established Energy Solution Division. $100 million is allotted for parochial road development by the municipal councils. The National Solid Waste Management Authority, Mr. Speaker, <laughs> continue to be a positive example of government in action. $2.6 billion is earmarked to carry out several solid waste management projects, including public cleansing and garbage disposal. The provision of community and social services will also be strengthened with a subvention of over $1 billion. Major activities under this project are to be carried out by the Social Development Commission. $7.5 billion is set aside for national disaster management. This includes the Disaster Preparedness Mitigation and Response Project managed by the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management. Repairs to fire stations restoration of fire hydrants and rehabilitation of fire vehicles are also accounted for. We are a coastal country. All our important organizations sit next to the ocean. Our parliament, our bank, our courts, our two major international airports, our oil refinery. We therefore have to take disaster seriously. Continued care will be extended to the nation's homeless and most vulnerable. In the corporate area, there are more than 2,000 Jamaicans who are living on the streets. We call them the homeless population. And the corporate area represents almost 70 percent of that number 1.8 billion dollars has been set aside to support these individuals managed by the board of supervision of the 2.3 billion dollars in the capital budget the ministry will be executing two major projects 1.9 billion dollars will be spent to complete acquisition of 30 fire pumps to increase the Jamaica Fire Brigade's capacity for adequately responding to emergencies. It is of importance that when we ask the men and women of the Jamaica Fire Brigade to put their lives on the line, that we do so by providing the necessary equipment to make them perform their duties. $375 million is tabled for the improvement of emergency communication system in the country. The project is being implemented by the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management. In the upcoming fiscal year, it will seek to construct new repeater huts and maintenance centers in Kingston and St. James, install communication equipment, and repair access roads to communication tower sites, among other activities. The project is jointly financed by the Jamaican government and the Japan International Corporation Agency. The Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development in 2021-2022, seeking to fully safeguard lives and properties, practice effective solid waste management, increase community participation, 
and implement rural electrification and house wiring, among other things.